Hi Zwifters, welcome along to another episode of How to Run on Zwift. Today we're going to be looking at Zwift online resources. These are the tools, the websites that you can go to to help set up your Zwift experience, make your Zwift experience more social and interactive, and also to keep up to date with everything that's going on within the Zwift community. So there's one website which is probably the most popular website on Zwift, one of the websites that you will go to if you take part in a group event. In running, we don't race yet, but in cycling, this is used an awful lot for race results. So you can go to zwiftpower.com. Let's bring up the website now. So when you get to zwiftpower.com, um, all you need to do is uh, register. Um, you need to put your email address in and create a password so you've got a profile. That will allow you then to see all the results on the main page. Now, we're interested in running, so we click Run here. And you can see in upcoming events, it lists all the events that you are able to join today. These are things that are happening in the future. However, what we use Zwift Power most for are the results. So we click on results and these are past events that have happened today, yesterday, and you can search way back in time. Results go back for years, literally. If we go to my profile, we can see the results of all the runs that I've been involved in, either the cycling races from way back or more recently, the runs that I've been involved with. So here's the latest Monday Run Club. I can click on that and then we'll get the results of all the people who took part in that particular group run. So there's mine. And you can see it took me 51 minutes and 31 seconds. Um, and I had a power of 251 watts, 3.5 watts per kilogram. Um, and that's because I'm using the Stride uh, foot pod, which gives power in running. People who don't use the Stride, look, they're given Z power here, the ZP. So you can see everyone and you can click on their profile. And if they're not private, you can actually see some of their results as well. So there is Steve Way, our elite athlete, and all of his results since he's been running on Zwift. So it's really interesting, really useful tool to see the results of runs, group runs, and races that you might have taken part in on Zwift. There are plenty of other resources on Zwift Power, but at the moment they are focused more on cycling. As I said, we don't do races yet on Zwift running, but when we do, Zwift Power will become a much more prominent feature, a much more prominent tool that you will use when running on Zwift. So that's it for Zwift Power. Okay, so next on the list is a website that many people don't know exists, but is actually possibly one of the most useful Zwift resources you can possibly get. Loads of people are really unsure about whether their computer is able to handle Zwift and what kind of power they need in their CPU or their graphics processor to handle the Zwift app. This website will help you determine how good your computer is, how able it is to handle Zwift, and how it compares to other computers and other users that are on Zwift. So let's dive into the Zwift Analyzer, zwiftalyzer.com. So when we arrive at the Zwiftalyzer webpage, it's Zwiftalyzer, so Zwift, A-L-I-Z-E-R.com. When you arrive there, you get to this page and it's asking you to drop in your log file. So when you log into Zwift and you use the Zwift app, the computer will create a log file of all the data collected during that session on Zwift. That's held in the log file and Zwiftalyzer is able to analyze that data. So what it will ask you to do is to drop a log file into or browse to find a log file which you can drop into Zwiftalyzer. So here's my uh, log files. So you need to go to, uh, mine is in documents and then in the folder called Zwift and then in a folder called logs. Um, you don't want to use the old, well, you can use the old logs. I'm using the most recent one from this particular computer um, because I run Zwift on various computers. So let's choose this one from the 27th of April, 2018 and click open. So it will now read the file, might take a minute or so to read that file, might take forever to read that file. And once read, you'll be presented with this page. So it starts with loads of data about the event itself. So it took place on the 27th of April, started at 16 minutes past seven in the evening, and it lasted for about an hour and a quarter. Um, I'm using, or I was at the time using this game version, 1.0.25770. 
And it tells you what computer I'm using, Windows, an Intel CPU, Core i5 processor with eight gigabytes of RAM. So this is basically all the information about my particular computer. And then we get down to the details from Zwift. So um, I'm running in ultra profile at a resolution of 1080p um, and an average frame rate of 58 frames per second. And again, you can see here that's broken down into a graphic. So uh, my average frame rate is 58 frames per second. I had a maximum frame rate of 96. And then a little further down, it gives you a bit of a breakdown of how your computer managed. So your graphics profile is ultra, which is the highest level. The levels are basic, medium, high and ultra. And so my graphics card is as a fairly decent graphics card and has given me fairly good performance. A little bit further down, we then get into the devices that you used to connect to Zwift and how well they communicated with your computer. So you can see I'm using Ant Plus devices here. Uh, one device is my heart rate monitor and one device is my foot pod. I think the top one is my foot pod and the one down below is my heart rate monitor. And you can see a little further down, this is how many times the computer had to research and repair my devices during the session. And then a little further down, I didn't use any Bluetooth, any Bluetooth devices. And you can also see network errors as well during that particular session. Really, really useful information for honing your Zwift setup. And then what's awesome is you can then go and click benchmarks at the top here. And that will bring up everyone else's PCs, everyone else who has used and publicly made available their log file for analysis. You can see how your computer compares to other computers. So mine is just down here, the PC i5 uh, with the GeForce GTX 1050 graphics card. And that puts me in this ultra bracket here. Uh, but you can get much, much better computers, much faster computers if we look up here. We go right to the top. So maximum frames per second, 220. An average of 165 frames per second, pin sharp graphics from the i7 processor um, and the NVIDIA Titan X graphics card. And then right down at the bottom, we can have a look at the, the lowest performing, very basic, here we are, look, 576 basic computers. And we see some of the Mac computers. <laughs> I do love Mac, but they aren't the best at, uh, at running Zwift. And we can scroll down and there we are, look, We've got a Mac Intel Core i7 processor, but with Intel um, onboard OpenGL graphics, uh, which is um, averaging 20 frames a second. But it is still running Zwift. That's the thing. Uh, such low resolution with such low frames per second, it's still managing to run Zwift. Uh, so Zwift can be run on an ultra high definition, ultra spec PC um, or a, a a very low spec PC. And you can see the main thing that you need to get really to run Zwift is a really good graphics card. So you can have a very fast processor. An i7 processor is a really good processor here. There's another PC with an i7 processor, really good processors, but they only have either onboard graphics or very, very poor graphics cards installed. So that's the kind of information you can get from Zwiftalyzer. Zwiftalyzer.com, really valuable tool for analyzing your computer's performance on Zwift. Next on the list is a really good resource. Um, it was originally called the Zwift blog. It's now called the Zwift Insider, and it's a real hub for news stories and articles and help articles on Zwift. So let's dive into the Zwift Insider. Zwift Insider is at ZwiftInsider.com and you're presented with this page. Um, and it's, it's basically a news website, info, information on Zwift. What's the latest thing that's going on in Zwift? And you can see here the latest news. So we've got John Mayfield, the creator of Zwift, um, has shared something on Twitter, which is a representation of Wetopia as you've never seen it before. That was posted on, on Twitter the other day. But then we've also got an interesting article on the Stride Footpod all about running with the Stride foot pod on Zwift and a breakdown of the difference between the Stride Live and the Stride main power meter. Lots of resources on getting started with Zwift, tips and tricks, 
maps of all the courses, equipment that you will need to get started on Zwift. This really is a massive resource of tools, a massive resource of articles on Zwift. I'll leave you to uh, have a good old look around the Zwift Insider because we could spend forever looking around all the articles that are available on Zwift. Suffice to say, if there's anything you need to know about Zwift, if there's any information that you're lacking, Zwift Insider probably has it somewhere in its vast archive of articles. So that's it for the Zwift Insider. One of these Zwift resources we're going to highlight now is not necessarily um, one that you would access via the website, but there is a website and we'll go there now. It's the Zwiftcast. So if you've spent any time with Zwift at all, you may well have come across the Zwiftcast. It's been going almost since Zwift began, run by Simon Schofield uh, with Nathan Guerra and uh, Shane Miller helping out as well. The Zwiftcast is basically a podcast available about once a month sometimes more often, um, where you can get all the information you could possibly want about Zwift in audio and video form. It's available on iTunes. It's also available on Podbeam. And here's the website here. So you can subscribe with Podbeam or iTunes. You can also view it on YouTube uh, because obviously now it's on video as well. And here on the website are all the previous episodes listed that you can go and choose from to listen to at your leisure. Along with the Zwift Insider, Zwiftcast is probably the most important um, tool that you will use for finding out the latest information on Zwift, the latest events that are happening, big events that are happening, um, and the latest technical innovations that are going on in Zwift. It is very cycling orientated at the moment, but they do have the odd running feature here and there. And I know that Shane Miller is working on running features all the time as well. So that's Zwiftcast for you. Go and check out the latest episode now. So talking about Shane Miller on the Zwift cast, Shane is also a YouTuber and he makes an awful lot of YouTube videos about Zwift, uh, technical uh, reviews um, and informational films, tutorials. So let's go and have a little look at his YouTube channel. All you need to do is search for GP Llama, GP Llama on YouTube and Shane Miller's channel will come up. Shane is primarily a cyclist, but you can see here he has started doing a few running videos. So he's done an initial setup review of the MyRun treadmill, which is the one I've got here. Uh, he's also reviewed the tread tracker here. So there are one or two running related videos Shane does have online. I'm sure he will be producing some more in the future, as will I. And so let's go and have a little look at some of my videos on my YouTube channel. So my YouTube channel is Film My Run. So if we type Film My Run and click search, I should be at the top. There I am. Not quite as many subscribers as Shane Miller just yet, but we're getting there. We click on Film My Run and you'll come to my YouTube channel. And there we are. We click on videos. So I originally set up Film My Run to film my outdoor adventures, uh, marathons, ultras, triathlons. So you'll find an awful lot of in real world running on there. But also, if you are interested in getting set up on Zwift, all my Zwift videos are there. So my live streams now go to the Film My Run YouTube channel. Here we are, the Wednesday workout there. Um, but also there are plenty of tutorial videos on how to get set up. So how to run on Zwift, the stride foot pod, the pairing screen, um, keyboard shortcuts, heart rate zones, calibrating your foot pod, all manner of Zwift videos on my Film My Run channel. I hope it's a useful resource for you. Now, not all of my live streams are on my own channel. In fact, uh, two a week are broadcast on Zwift Community Live. So if we can go to the Zwift Community Live YouTube page, type in Zwift Community Live and it should come at the top. Click on that. And this is your resource for most of the live streaming that you'll get coming out of Zwift. It's mostly cycling videos at the moment, but twice a week we broadcast Monday Run Club on Zwift Community Live and I broadcast a workout every Friday, most Fridays, on Zwift Community Live as well. If you scroll down here, you can see plenty of other YouTube videos, all live streamed events. So if you're into watching um, live running, uh, live cycling, cycle racing as well, do check out the Zwift Community Live YouTube channel. And there's also Zwift Community Live on Facebook as well. So let's now head over to Facebook and the online tools available in Facebook for Zwift runners. So I've just typed in facebook.com forward slash Zwift Community Live and we've come to the Zwift Community Live Facebook page. As you can see here, um, this is uh, another hub for uh, live broadcasting 
of Zwift events, Zwift group workouts, Zwift running events, and uh, cycle races on Zwift. And while we're on Facebook, we may as well type in facebook.com forward slash go Zwift run. This is the Zwift run page. This is where I broadcast Monday Run Club and the Friday workouts. And there you can see the uh, Monday Run Club being replayed on the Zwift run page. And you can tell the difference between the Zwift run page and the normal Zwift page uh, because of the color scheme. So Zwift is orange, Zwift run is pink. So another really useful Zwift resource on Facebook is the Zwift Runners Facebook group set up by us, by Zwift Runners, run for Zwift Runners. Um, there are members of the Zwift staff um, who look at the page and do interact with us. So if you want to ask a question or if you want to see what's going on, if you want to just take part in the social activity, the community that is Zwift Running, then do go and have a look at the Zwift Runners Facebook page. So you can see here that one of the members of staff at Zwift, Charlie, has posted a link to an event that's happening, um, which is um, a run uh, led by a hooker-sponsored athlete, Craig Lutz. This is a great place to find out initially a lot of that kind of information. Um, you may only find out some information from the Zwift Runners Facebook page. It may not appear anywhere else. So it's a really good place to keep an eye on what's going on. It's also a great place to post your photos and your videos, just like any other Facebook page, really, to keep us all informed about what you're doing on Zwift. Another useful resource for helping you get set up on Zwift is James Gill's Titanium Geek. So let's go and have a look at his website briefly. James has been on Zwift since day one, pretty much, um, and uh, he has created a Zwift user manual. Uh, it's often updated. It started years and years ago. James's user manual is absolutely massive, I have to say. Uh, I don't think there's a thing that isn't covered in it. If you have any questions about how to get set up on Zwift or how Zwift works, then James Gill's user manual is certainly a really good resource to have to go to. But that's not all. Although James's website is not primarily Zwift focused, uh, he does also do Zwift gear reviews as well. Again, it's mainly cycling focused. But that may well change as running takes more of a hold on Zwift. And you can see there, James does have a review of the Milestone Footpod. So that's James Gill's Titanium Geek. We can't really do a review of online tools and resources for Zwift with, without having a very quick look at the Zwift website itself. So let's head on over there now. All you do is type in Zwift.com into a browser and you'll get to this page, but we're interested in running. And you can see the little pink Zwift Run link there. So click on that and you'll get to this page, the Zwift Run page. You can scroll down and you can see here what you need to run on Zwift. So you need a foot pod, check my gear, download Zwift. This is obviously the place that you'll use to download the app to your computer, to your PC or Mac, unless you're using iOS. And as you might expect, the Zwift Run website explains everything that you need to know about running on Zwift. And if you log in, you can then go and check your own profile, which will list all of your previous runs on Zwift, all your previous cycle rides on Zwift. So you'll go to your dashboard. You can see your activities, um, all your recent runs, how far you ran, how long it took you. And you can also your billing, your weight, your height, all those details in the Zwift settings on your dashboard. Obviously, as with any good website, any good app, there is a support section. So click the support section if you've got any questions that you need asking, any technical issues that you have with Zwift. There's a full knowledge base uh, that you can search, a community forum, or you can just email directly one of the tech support team. And that is it for our look at the most valuable online resources for Zwift. If you think I've missed anything out, please do comment in the comment section below. Otherwise, we'll see you for another episode of How to Run on Zwift very soon. Do take care, guys. Bye bye.